in this episode let us understand a solution to this problem yes what we have to verify is if one string is a rotation of another string how to write a java code let's explore even before i go ahead and write a program let me first tell you what really the question is what is the meaning of a rotational string i think that is the first clarity that you are expecting from me and that is what i am doing so let me consider my input string as aradhya well this is the input string and if you'll ask me what are the rotational strings of aradhya then i will take aradhya another copy i have taken and just in case i move the first character to the end like this then I am getting a new string. Well, this new string happens to be one of the rotational strings of the original string Aradhya. Not just that. If I will take the first character from this string and put it at the end, then whatever I am getting is another rotational string of the original string. Not just that. If I will again take the first character and put it at the end, whatever I am getting happens to be another rotational string that way this is another rotational string this is another rotational string and that way i can have many more rotational strings and if you'll ask me what is a non-rotational string well this is a non-rotational string well if you would notice there is absolutely no way that by rotating the characters of my original string i would be able to get this i would never be able to get this you know it so this is a non-rotational string with respect to the original string whereas all these happen to be rotational strings with respect to the original string so i'm sure you've been able to understand as to what is meant by rotational string and non-rotational string but how to write a program for it what is the logic let me explain let me begin by having my original string aradhya back on the screen also, let me have all the rotational strings of Aradhya and the non-rotational string as well. Anyway, the larger question is, what is the logic to verify if really these strings are the rotational strings of Aradhya and this is not the rotational string of Aradhya? What is the logic is the million dollar question, maybe at the back of your mind, but let me tell you, the logic is very simple. It's just a two-step procedure what are the two steps let me explain the first step is to concatenate the original string with itself you know that our original string is aradhya i have to concatenate it with itself so i take a copy of aradhya concatenate it with itself and this is what i get well all that i have done is that i have applied my first step and that is the new string that i have got well, you might be wondering as to what is the point in concatenating the original string with itself? What is the logic is what could possibly be your question. Let me clarify that for you. But before that, let me consider these strings, all the rotational strings. Also, let me consider this, the non-rotational string. Well, for the time being, I would not call them as rotational and non-rotational, rather I would just club all of this together and I would be calling them as the key string. In the second step of my logic, what I am really supposed to do is to check if my new string contains the key string. If in case my new string contains the key string, then I can conclude that such a key string happens to be a rotational string and just in case my new string does not contain the key string then I can conclude that the key string is not a rotational string which means that now I'll have to apply my step 2 on these key strings to verify if really they are rotational or non-rotational and let's apply this is my first key string and I have to check if the new string contains the key string so I would send the key string there and then check if it's really contained and I see that yes, it is there. The new string contains the key string which means that this happens to be one of the rotational strings of Aradhya. Similarly, I would send the second one and I can notice that even that is contained. 
which means that the second one as well is a rotational string. The third one, yes, it is contained. So even that is a rotational string and the fourth one also is contained in the new string. So certainly even that is a rotational string and just in case I have to send the fifth one. And you can notice that the fifth string is not contained within the new string which goes to show that it is not a rotational string of Aradhya. So I'm sure you've been able to understand as to what is the two-step logic to verify if really one string is a rotation of the other or not. Anyway, how does the Java code look like? Let's explore. Let me begin by considering my original string as Aradhya. Also, let me consider my key string like this. Well, you know what are the two steps that I need to apply to verify if really the key string is the rotational string of Aradhya or not. The first step is to concatenate the original string with itself. This is the line of code. And whatever I obtain, I call it as the new string like this. And the second step is to check if in case the new string contains the key string. Just in case it contains, then I can conclude that it indeed is a rotational string and otherwise it means that it's not a rotational string. Anyway, this is the complete program and when I'll execute, this is the output. Yes, I've got the right output because after all, my key string happens to be one of the rotational strings of Aradhya. Just in case I remove that key string and bring in this as my key string. You know that this is actually not a rotational string. Anyway, let's see what the program gives us as the output. When I'll execute it, this is the output. So I'm sure you've been able to understand the logic of this program. And let me tell you, the two-step logic that I have given you is just one of the many logics that are there to verify if really one string is a rotation of the other or not. If you really want to know all the logics and not just for this program, if you want to know everything that you need to know to shape yourself as a professional software developer, all that you have to do is to join our classroom training, get skilled, get placed or take complete refund. Well, this is the promise that ABC is making to the young job aspirants. Anyway, for the time being, I'm sure you are gaining sufficient knowledge through this episode series and to continue to keep gaining knowledge like this, continue watching the episode series. Let's meet in the next episode. Let's continue to gain knowledge.